How's it going, everyone? I'm Scott Huang. Uh, I'm from the founder of Graffiti Chains, where I do market research and public surveys on public opinion towards graffiti. Um, and as of recently, um, in le early March, there has been a bill signed by uh, the le Oregon legislator given to ODOT for $20 million that they're going to be able to do graffiti removal and homeless removal um, beginning as of uh, April 1st and the legislation uh, the, by Tina Kotek is made to sign by April 17th, 2024. Uh, I feel very strong about this. Uh, graffiti is something that makes the city beautiful and bright. In the context uh, of why it's bad, I, I can understand that. And I have talked to many different types of people um, who also share this sentiment where graffiti uh, through vandalism on businesses isn't seen as um, condonable, but many people do not have an opinion when they see people when they see graffiti on the side of the highways or um, under bridges. And you could argue these are dangerous for the ind individuals, but people find purpose in graffiti and a voice and it inspires other people uh, for those who are not as fortunate to have that type of expression. Uh, graffiti really has made or has it also exploded after the pandemic uh, in Portland and it has been very beautiful and there has been new artists. Uh, it's been going around the city, it's, it's beautiful. And I would really ask people to reconsider their, their views on graffiti and how it doesn't impact the city necessarily in a negative standpoint. Uh, the main concern uh, I've heard that is graffiti litters the walls and you know makes everything look bad. In terms of having a city that really devotes itself to self-expression and art, it's quite the contrary argument is what I've seen. Um, I really don't think uh, the removal of graffiti should be one of the biggest priorities people should the money should be put towards uh graffiti can change people's lives and has helped people out of depression um and it has helped me so i would appreciate if this message gets out uh, i want to do something in portland in terms with graffiti and i hope whoever's listening uh let's try to make something happen uh if this bill does get passed i think there are certain ways that we could progress, even though this bill means the graffiti will be removed, but there will be more chances for uh, the graffiti community to come together and hopefully find some solutions. So I hope you guys get this message. Again, I'm Scott Kwong. I've been working uh, or I've been doing graffiti chains for uh, since June of last year, and I haven't been doing much after the summer, but I would love to interact with different graffiti artists and let's try to work something out. Thank you.